Hello everyone and welcome to this video. We are continuing with E3 and this is what Square Enix had to show. They well, I don't know whether to call it a press conference, but it whatever it was lasted 30 minutes. And these are the games that they showed off. They showed Shadow of the Tomb Raider. To show gameplay where you were taking out a enemy base camp. Oh, that's what it looked like. The stealth play was looking good. And it it looks like a good game. If you played the others and enjoyed them, you'll enjoy this one comes out on September 14th it is mixed in with a load of games that I'm actually buying so I'll be missing this one they showed some Final Fantasy online stuff for Stormblood in a trailer they showed Under the Moonlight which is probably the next DLC and part of patch 4.3 they are doing a crossover with Monster Hunter World where it looks like one of the dragons or a monster from Monster Hunter World is coming into the Final Fantasy Online it's probably going to be a boss or something and that is all they showed on that they didn't tell you when it was coming when the patch is live or anything then they showed the awesome adventures of Captain Spirit which is the free to play game from I think the kids is it Donad Entertainment? The people who created Life is Strange, which is in the Life is Strange universe. And that game is coming out on June 26th. It's free, so I don't see why anyone wouldn't jump in and find, see what's going on with that. They showed. Dragon Quest XI, Echoes of an Elusive Age, and it looks like Dragon Quest. I'm probably not going to pick it up because I've never played a Dragon Quest game, apart from uh, Dragon Quest Heroes, but I'll say that's more relatable to the Dynasty and Samurai Warriors than the role-playing games that the uh, Dragon Age games are so I miss that then they showed a trailer for Babylon's Fall which is something that I want to play it looked interesting to me they showed a trailer and that was it I want to know when it is coming because I want to play it they showed again that Neo Automata is coming to the Xbox on June 26th. They should have done it in one or the other, not in both. But it's up to them what they do, really. They showed Octopath Traveler, which is coming to Nintendo on July 13th. And only Nintendo. They showed Just Cause 4 trailer, which is coming out on December 4th. They showed The Quiet Man, which is, from what I understand, a deaf man that... I don't know if he's a hit man or something, but he seems to have a grudge. And it seems to have kick-ass action. That is based off of the trailer, though. So... Yeah, and the last thing they showed was Kingdom Hearts 3, 
which they showed trailers similar to the Xbox press conference, but it was an extended trailer. And they announced the release date again of January 29th. Like I said in the Xbox one, if you are a fan of Kingdom Hearts, you'll be picking this up. Me, I'm not, so I'm not going to be picking it up. I'm an adult. <laughs> I didn't mean that, but... Yeah, it doesn't interest me. And that was all Square Enix showed off. As little as they showed off. Still more interesting games than Sony and EA showed off, so... They've got that going for them. Got me interested in a couple of their games that are coming out. So if you want, you can put down in the comments which games you're looking forward to and which games you are definitely going to buy. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you and I hope you have a good day.